hybrid snapping turtle. Look at this guy, he is. Hook's getting a little scratch. He's got a little friend behind him. Don't bite my foot. Hey, what is up guys? Uh, I'm a little bit under the weather today, but I uh, wanted to try and make a video uh, kind of updating you guys on some things that are going on. Uh, right now I'm kind of visiting these young cherry head tortoises in this Ava Tuvan setup. Uh, they're doing really well in here. You can see this one's got like got a little bit of Missouri on the nose. Today was a Missouri day. They get really happy and fired up for that and run around a lot. And they're all looking good. Um, you can see this guy's nice smooth shell. They all have really smooth shells and these guys have been really easy to raise and uh, kind of take care of and just been great, you know, cherry head tortoises and uh, really stoked to be able to keep these guys and work with these guys. So uh, they've been awesome. Well, let's look at some other stuff and see what else is going on. I'd like to close this. So over here, this is like just like one of my plant grow outs. So I grow this out to feed things like cooters in one of the ponds. Um, it also has like some live bearing fish in here. And there's also some frogs that live in here. That's a green frog. There's actually a lot of green frogs here. Well, the Aquascape Pond is just completely grown in. Uh, it's just nothing but plants and stuff in here now, which I love. It's really awesome to see how much everything has kind of taken off and, and done so well in here. You can see it's just it's getting thick. And it's, it's really cool looking. I've actually been pulling some plants out and replacing them with other plants that are uh, maybe a little bit better and less likely to kind of crowd things. Um, I've got some of this kind of stuff, but this is just like some kind of invasive, so I just kind of grab some, just pull it out. Uh, it gives other plants a chance to grow. Yesterday I was able to pull Lloyd Christmas, one of the alligator snappers, out of here and shoot some photos of him. Um, and that was really neat. It's always cool when I'm able to kind of see some of the stuff in here. There's a Mississippi map that I put in there. Um, I kind of moved it over here because I figured I have so many clams and snails and stuff in here. I figured the map turtle might be happier kind of hanging out in here. And, you know, the cooters, you know, they have somebody else to kind of bask and hang out with. Um, and it's, you know, it's a really neat environment. And it's just kind of going through a cycle right now where there's kind of a lot of algae. But when it gets really, really hot like this, um, that stuff kind of flares up. And then eventually it'll all kind of slough off or... Uh, the fish will eat it, the snails will eat it, and it um, ends up being a good little, you know, cycle and a good little environment. But yeah, you can see the cooters are having themselves a nice little bask over here. All of my elephant ears are getting huge. I love seeing that. There's like some more over here. Yeah, all the plants are just growing in like crazy around this. I mean, this is kind of, um, over here is kind of the area where when the when it rains, this kind of overflows this way. And so it just feeds these elephant ears and they're able to kind of grow in this section. So yeah, I like seeing that. It's pretty cool. This looks like Bumpy. What's up, buddy? Looks getting a little scratch. He's got a little friend behind him. Don't bite my foot. They love toes. What's up, buddy? Hey, stay away from my toes. <laughs> Here's some more. These two guys coming for some attention. Got a uh, red foot on the, the right and a cherry head on the left. And here comes Bumpy for more attention. Now over here, got the mountain tortoise. She just put away a uh, good amount of Missouri. Today was a Missouri day, so everybody got to eat that, and so everybody's fat and happy and just stoked on life, so I'm stoked on that. Oh, my, my toes, man. Feeling kind of lousy. I think I'm sick, but you know, it happens. I don't even know if I'm going to use this part. I might cut this out because I don't think anybody wants to see me sick. It's disgusting. We've got this little setup here for two eastern box turtles. Box turtles are hanging out in the shade. There you go, both ends over here. These guys are kind of a, this is a kind of a quarantine setup. I don't really want them near my other box turtles just because box turtles all kind of carry their own pathogens. So 
so I like to kind of keep all that stuff separated out. Got a sleepy Russian tortoise. He just ate a bunch of food and now he's chilling in the shade. I don't blame him. I think the other ones are inside the little house over there. And over here, the AST pond that I'm going to renovate. I actually started clearing it out, put out some pallets, and starting to pull some rocks and get it cleared out. And me and Dan are going to put this thing together, so that'll be fun too. This guy, this guy likes attention. What are you doing? Just hanging out. That's a turtle. Come here, buddy. Oh, there is a hybrid snapping turtle. Look at this guy. He is large and in charge. He thinks he is just the, the baddest thing on the planet. Look at that. He really wants to get some of the GoPro. <laughs> but he's looking good. I, li I like the, the shape of his shell. I like the, the kind of the build of him. I like the cut of his jib. So we're going to put him back in here. See you later, bucko. Yeah, so this is just a video kind of catching up on some things. I haven't made a video in a while, um, so I figured I would kind of put something out there. I know you guys haven't heard or seen much from me lately. I'm going to be trying to get back out in the field pretty soon, uh, be able to share some more wild turtles and reptiles with you guys and uh, keep the ball rolling. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you as always for supporting the channel. You guys are the best. Take care. Peace.